Hello everyone, welcome to the new session. In this session, I am here to discuss you about Guido sensor and its use in Google Sky Map. You can see there are two important keywords. One is Guido sensor and second one is Google Sky Map. So, first to know about Guido sensor, you need to know what is gyroscope. Gyroscope is any device which can undergo a free spin, I mean a free spin rapidly about its own axis which can alter in any direction. And what is gyro sensor? In one word, sensor that senses the angular velocity of a body in motion. It can do two important jobs, senses rotational motion and also senses the change in orientation which we human can't. So gyro sensors will see what it consists of. It consists of a series of what I have seen. It consists of 10 pins of 10 different connections. And these uh, connections are commonly known as serial peripheral interface, which actually connects between small bandwidths. And what does this symbol mean? MOC, SEL, these nomenclatures are all part of this uh, interfaces. Some, uh, if we see that MOC is known as master output slave input and it's uh, also known as sda or serial data ss the second one is known as slave select well we can see gnd which is known as ground and if we see that it's miso that miso is opposite to mossy just it's also known as master input and slave output and there is another one as scl we known that as serial clock well you can see all of them right in here Serial data, slave select, ground and master input and slave output. Well, so how a gyroscope works? First of all, before giving you this description of this diagram, I should say that this diagram is actually known as uh, a particular double T structure, which is usually found in printers. And thanks uh, to various uh, lessons which I have attended about sensor, I used to know that these types of sensors are known as vibration gyro sensors which are mainly found in uh, things like uh, DSLR, SLR cameras and uh, most importantly car navigation system and commonly in nearly every advanced mobile devices. So first of all, this gyro sensor, this uh, vibration gyro sensor consists of a stator at the centerpiece, uh, two drive arms and one sensing arm. Well, you can see that, uh, well, norm, uh, vibration gyro sensor senses angular velocity, uh, from the carrierless forces applied to the vibrating object. So, how it works? First, normally a drive arm vibrates at certain direction. Then, it changes its direction of motion on sideways uh, by give, doing a rotation. After that, you can see a vertical vibration has been executed by the drive arm because when the gyro is rotated, the Coriolis force acts on the drive arm producing vertical vibration and then a series of stationary paint parts move due to the vertical diaphragm vibration and produces a sensing motion on the sensing arm. This is the sensing arm and it causes a sensing motion and this is the vibration motion that which is executed by the drive arms and the motion of a pair of sensing arms releases a potential difference from which angular velocity is detected the angular velocity is converted to the output uh, as an electrical signal and this is how the sensor works so this i know we all know what these are about these are all different celestial bodies and you can see that many people just die to watch them uh, through telescope on other apps so, first, let me tell you a simple thing. People like me always buy a telescope. Sometimes there are exceptions without consulting a trained professional telescope expert. And what has resulted is that's why many of them later complained about not operating the device properly or not having proper view of their desired celestial body. So, always remember an important view. And you can't see the celestial body unless you know its area of the sky at that time of the year. So, how can you find a celestial body like that? 
where how can you know that the body is right now in here a series of hats has been developed and one of them particularly my favorite is known as the google sky map app it has been developed by google and you can see that uh, these are the basic uh, things which you will see while opening the google sky map app so why i like this app and what does the app holds an elaborate map of the entire sky seen from your location and easy to install and easy to view the contents so let's see how the app works i've already mentioned the gyroscope and its functions it's time for me to move to paramount interest which is the sky map sky map is an app designed by google and you can find find it at the play store under the name sky map and here's the since I have already installed it, all you have to do is to just do the installation. It's quite simple and move through the sky map. I'm just giving it out, and here is the main page. Well, to be precise, this is the sky above my terrace, and you can perfectly see that there are well you can perfectly see that there are no stars well i can't guarantee you if any single one to you night now because it's quite cloudy and it's night so let's move to sky map you can see there are quite a lot of stars constellations and galaxies as well as a lot of other celestial objects well let us move to other location you can see how elaborate this app is how well defined it is and well you can see some of our home stars and also the sun and mercury right in there well there are quite a few of options quite few options are in here so what are they actually first of all is the stars then is the constellations is the galaxies then the home planets then the supernovas and the coordinates and ultimately none well without this the space is just a full blank well taking them all again we can see that it is spread out the entire horizon about one particular sky when most important of it to use the sky map just enable your gps cause it gives the lo the picture of the sky just above your head so gps and lo location is the most important thing well just go to the settings you can see that the location cities has been enabled sound has also been enabled and going to the gallery you can see there are pictures of some familiar stars and celestial objects well we will come to this issue later later and just uh, here is an important thing it's a time travel it's quite specific for this software cause it helps you to visit from one time to another now it's been said that it's 2020 at 18 gmt so just going to next evening sunset we can just go and see how the star have changed sky have changed so you can see the sky have now is now adored with the home stars with saturn jupiter pluto and the moon and including the Sagittarius and M55 occupying the central portion and returning back and our current time you can see there is particularly none so another important feature is the calibration well, how to calibrate as I have already seen mentioned the importance of gyroscope and locating the stars you can see that to calibrate your moon has to you know, phone has to be moved forward and blank and you have to tilt it and or move it to side to side and then tilt left and right and according to my phone the compress accuracy is quite high that is a good news well you can also see that there is a diagnostic part uh, which gives the device name that is vivo 1820 and the android version of my mobile the sky map version and also you can see there are one two three four five six six sensors well the compass accelerometer gyroscope rotation rot matrix and light level well the light the numbers are quite fast so i can't read any thing to you right now but you can just have a look at this and the location and time since i mentioned gps is an important factor it's not been enabled the location at latitude is 22.477917 and longitude is 88.36865 the pointing snapshot is just above date and mac correction has been done at west degrees local date time has been given it's at real time moving at real time and network is connected
which is all important right now and just another important thing is this is the infrared version you can see this they are all been given in internet right and just here you can see the normal image wait moving out just and a fun for begins so how can you search your star just mention it name just petal gives you can see that there is a round loop with an arrow connected to it just move you tilt your phone towards the arrow you will see that you will change as it's going near and near to battle use and you will find that you are near to battle use so to align your phone you have to switch it to manual mode just to stop your gyroscope and just have a good look at battle use again switch it to automatic you can also do this searching by another means like going to the gallery you're clicking out of Jupiter and find it in the sky here by the same way by pointing by moving to the point eight arrow you can find Jupiter well the fun part has ended now this app is quite good for amateur live watchers and also for novice ones all you need to have is an inbuilt gyroscope which will give you a better view on the sky otherwise you have to find it all by yourself which may give you a bad reading well that's all for today i would be delighted if you like subscribe and share my video to every possible person who may or may not be interested in Skywatch. Thank you.